The D.C. Department of Transportation is proposing changes to current regulations on the ubiquitous rentable scooters found around the city. Proposed plans include cutting the number of companies with scooter permits, adding parking corrals, and increasing the number of scooters. Reporter Pat McGuire has the story. Hi, my name is Patrick McGuire from G Week, reporting from Kogan Plaza on DC's newly proposed regulations regarding electric scooters. The District Department of Transportation has proposed changes to scooter regulations. They plan on cutting the number of companies with scooter permits from 8 to 4, allowing city officials to provide better oversight. Officials also plan on increasing the quantity of scooters from 5,000 to 10,000 and adding 100 parking corrals for dockless scooters and bikes. We talked to some GW students on their opinions regarding these new scooter regulations. I ride scooters uh, everywhere I go, whether it's going to the gym, to the library to study, back to my dorm, you know. I think they're great. I think they're a better alternative than, you know, paying the expense of Uber and Lyft. Uh, they're definitely quicker, you know, in some cases. So, I, you know, I really appreciate them being around. I think that DC, if DC regulated the number of brands of scooters, that would be good. But... I think it's already hard enough to find a scooter when you're in need of one. Um, I actually have yet to ride them. I really want to try them out, but yeah, I haven't really tried them yet. Um, do you think DC is right in putting regulation down? Like, do you think there's too many? Um, I think so because, like, with safety, I think it might be a good thing, just like in case. But I don't really know because I haven't like had any many interactions with them. But yeah. Um, I think they're convenient, but I think at night especially they can be dangerous, especially on the mall, because they only have a little light. Uh, I think they're kind of funny to see, uh, but at the same time I've definitely like tripped over them before, so they can be a nuisance. I think if there's no regulation at all, then DC should probably be doing something. For G Week, I'm Patrick McGuire. Joining us in the studio is DC News reporter Pat McGuire to give us an update on DC scooter regulations. Pat, could you tell us a little bit more about the updates? Yes, there have been some changes. The District Department of Transportation announced this past week that the reason for the drastic decrease in scooter companies permitted in DC is that many of these companies were seeking permits for devices that don't comply with city regulations. This left DC with four main operating scooter companies, Jump, Skip, Lift, and Spin. The Department of Transportation plans on adding one more company to this list with the name of Hellbiz in the early months of 2020. DC will be the fourth city with Hellbiz bikes and scooters following New York, Milan, and Rome. They also announced that they plan on rethinking their original proposal of banning scooters usage during the late hours of the night due to the many complaints they received. The Department of Transportation will continue to consider bills that regulate scooter usage in DC during the new year. Oh, that was really interesting, Pat. I'm disappointed to see Lime leaving DC because I felt like that was the original scooter company. Everyone knew the green scooters, and it's sad to see them leave, for sure. That's true. I'm a bird fan all the way, so. Okay, I understand. That's fair. That's, yeah, I was always a Skip fan until I heard one that caught on fire last year. And so I it's heard just really that. shocking to me that they still got a contract because of that. Yeah, I, th I think so, too. I did a package about scooters in my sophomore year, and it's so funny to see how they've evolved because they were brand new at the time, and now it's just, it's really funny. It's, some, it's very interesting. Well, thank you so much, Pat, for joining us. It was a great package. Thank, thank you, you for having me. We'll be right back with more.